Imagine, just for a moment, that you are standing at the very edge of human history, staring directly into a moment so profound, so violently transformative, that everything we thought we understood about our place in the cosmos just collapsed in an instant. Because last night, at precisely 11.47 p.m., universal time, something happened. Not a rumor, not a glitch, not a faint signal lost in static. A real event, simultaneously observed by every major observatory on Earth, that forced the entire astronomical world into emergency coordination. And no, this wasn't a supernova. It wasn't a cosmic radio whisper. It wasn't anything we've seen before. So before we go any deeper into this, if you've been following the unfolding mystery surrounding 3i Atlas, take one second to tap the like button. Not for the algorithm, but because what you're about to hear matters. And the more people who hear it, the better prepared we all are. Because last night, the object we call 3i Atlas, the interstellar visitor that has puzzled us for months, performed something that should be physically impossible. Something that no natural comet, asteroid, or interstellar rock has ever done. A controlled, directed, intelligent maneuver. Not speculation. Not maybe. Not the result of outgassing or model uncertainty. A controlled burn. A deliberate change in speed. A purposeful shift in trajectory. For the last 14 hours, I've been in non-stop conversations with researchers at NASA, ESA, JAXA, and multiple independent observatories. The raw data they confirmed is staggering. It contradicts everything we know about celestial mechanics, about energy, about what's possible with known physics. Because at exactly 11.47 p.m. and 23 seconds, 3i Atlas brightened, instantly, by a factor of 12 in infrared. To visualize that, imagine sitting in a normal room, and in a single second, the heat spikes to hotter than the surface of the sun. That is not natural behavior. That is not sublimation. That is not a comet venting frozen gas. Dr. Sarah Martinez, who was on duty at the Infrared Space Observatory, admitted that her first reaction was disbelief. She assumed her instruments failed. But then Spitzer confirmed it. Hawaii confirmed it. Chile confirmed it. Radio telescopes confirmed it. It wasn't an error. Something inside, or on, the surface of 3i Atlas activated. Something capable of generating enormous energy, sustained for exactly 14 minutes, and then shutting down instantly on command. Temperatures on localized regions of its surface hit 1200 Kelvin, hot enough to melt aluminum. But the real shock came an hour later, when global tracking stations updated the object's new orbit, 3i Atlas had changed velocity by 4.3 kilometers per second. Just think about that. A 33 billion ton object accelerating by 4,300 meters every second. The energy required is equivalent to all the sunlight hitting Earth in a full day, released in 14 minutes. According to Dr. Robert Chen at MIT, if you tried to do this with chemical rockets, you'd need 280 billion tons of fuel, more mass than the object itself. Even theoretical ion drives couldn't do it. Not in 14 minutes, not in a year, not ever. This was propulsion using physics we don't understand, energy sources we can't identify, engineering we cannot replicate. And, and here's where the story stops being scientific and becomes unnerving. The course correction wasn't random. Before the maneuver, 3i Atlas would have passed Earth at 0.08 AU on January 3rd, 2026. After the maneuver, the closest approach has been cut in half, to 0.04 AU. The arrival date has moved earlier, to December 28th. It is coming sooner, and it is coming closer. The object is now pointed directly toward the inner solar system, at Earth. That alone is enough to rewrite everything we know. But the universe wasn't done with us last night, because during those exact same 14 minutes, telescopes detected structured electromagnetic emissions across nearly the entire spectrum. Radio telescopes picked up modulated broadband signals from 400 mHz to 40 GHz. 
optical telescopes captured millisecond timed flashes in blue and green wavelengths. X-ray observatories detected pulsed hard radiation. This wasn't chaos. This wasn't noise. The patterns were structured, encoded, organized. They had headers, synchronization markers, error correction patterns. Dr. Jennifer Williams at SETI said plainly, if this signal came from another star system, we declare it a techno signature immediately. The optical flashes were coherent, laser-like, timed with microsecond precision. The X-ray pulses showed the distinct signatures of particle acceleration. Something aboard 3i Atlas is manipulating matter and energy the way we do in controlled laboratories, not the way comets behave drifting through space, but one detail overshadows everything else. Inside the radio emissions is a repeating signal, a primer. A sequence meant to be understood. Every 427 seconds, a carrier frequency at 1.42 GHz, the hydrogen line, the universal calling card, broadcasts a structured message. Prime numbers, Fibonacci sequences, P, the golden ratio, increasing complexity, a universal mathematical language, a message teaching us how to decode it, exactly the same method humanity would use if we were trying to contact an unknown intelligence. ESA has already announced emergency plans to launch a rapid intercept mission within eight months. China intends to launch within six. Russia has activated its full radio telescope arrays and is detecting even deeper layers of structure we didn't see. Behind closed doors, governments are coordinating, quietly, urgently, so people keep asking me what I think will happen next. And the truth is, no one knows. But I can tell you what I hope. I hope this maneuver was curiosity, not aggression. I hope these signals are a handshake, not a warning. I hope this intelligence, whatever it is, sees something in us worth talking to, worth preserving. Worth knowing, because after last night, after November 15th, 2025, at 11.47 p.m. Universal Time, the world is different. History has split in two. We are now living in the aftermath of the moment humanity learned, definitively, that we are not alone. And the future, our future, is uncertain in ways it has never been before. All we can do now is watch, listen, learn and hope the universe is kinder than we once feared. And don't stop here. The cosmos isn't finished revealing its secrets. Click on the next video, and let's continue this journey into the unknown together.